Kate Middleton received Duke of Edinburgh Award 20 years ago after a life-changing hike. Wasn't he always a lazy work shy royal? During the ITV documentary When Philip Met Prince Philip, 60 Years of the Duke of Edinburgh Ash Award it was revealed that Kate Middleton had been the recipient of the DOF Award nearly 20 years ago. Kate, as well as the other recipients that year, were invited to St. James Palace to receive the award. Many royal watchers were surprised by the fact that the Duchess of Cambridge was the recipient of the Gold Doff Award. Kensington Palace tweeted a photo prior to the December 12th airing of the documentary on ITV. Kate was attending Marlborough College at the time she won the Gold Doff Award, doing so by participating in a four-day hike through the pouring rain. Though Kate was not part of the documentary, Kate shared the tale to a group of Gigabytes Olympians at the Team Gigabytes reception in October. Discussing what skills the Olympians may have learned from their experiences, Kate shared that one day, during a downpour, she was put in charge of cooking bacon for sandwiches. I remember saying you know what, I think we were just going to have plain sandwiches. Bread, basic bread and butter, Kate recounted. Kate shared additional memories in a press release issued by Buckingham Palace. The Duchess of Cambridge explained, while getting my gold award was challenging at times, it was one of my most memorable experiences from growing up, and I could not recommend it more highly. Kate Middleton isn't the only royal wife with the Doff Award. Sophie Wessex participated in a grueling 450-mile cycling challenge in honor of the Duke of Edinburgh Award Diamond Anniversary. The Duchess of Wessex now also holds a Gold Doff Award. For 60 years, the Doff has offered outreaches in 140 countries and has inspired millions of young people between the ages of 14 and 24 to serve in their communities, develop a sense of adventure, and reach beyond their classrooms to learn skills that will be most useful to them in the future.